Hi guys, this is Kayla. And this is Becky, and we're with A Couple of Bees Read. Yes, and we also enjoy a glass of wine. What is our weekly wine, Becky? Um, I'm not sure if we've had this before. Uh, Conte de Terra. It's a Pinot Gris. It's mm. made uh, in California. Uh, the grapes were planted in 2008, so it's, it's a white wine. It smells good. Mm. Mm. It's very light. Yeah. Is there peach in this? No, it's no. pear. Pear. Okay. Yes, notes of pear. Uh, really like a tropical fruit. It's got some mango mm. and pineapple and um, papaya. I knew there was something. I don't know. Peaches and mangoes have always tasted yeah. similar to me. Mm hmm but I knew there was something different. It's very good. It is good. So it's a great wine, clean, clean crafted. I can't talk. And, um, I, you know, try a bottle if you like a light, fresh wine. It, mm -hmm. and of course goes well with any pastas, any seafood, anything like that. So it'd be a great light wine. Yeah. Yeah. I like it a lot. Okay, our book um, uh, by Rebecca Surreal, uh, Expiration Dates. I love her. I love her work. Um, you actually introduced me to her uh, with One Italian Summer. Yes, yes. that was and how I got you to start reading Book of the Month. That's right. It was, she gave me it as a gift, and then that's why uh, I started reading. And I just, I really like her a lot. Um, I like her writing. It's it's nice it's it's easy to read but you know she just does such a good job with the characters you really you either really like them or you don't you know her mm -hmm. characters and i think that's uh, why she's such a good writer because the characters feel very real you know and this particular book expiration date has a very cute concept behind it uh, very interesting um this this lady she um ends up she always gets these little cards or pieces of paper or notes and it'll have a man's name on it. And then it has a time frame. It might say one night. It might say five years. It might say three months, but that's what happens. And what that basically means is that that's how long the relationship lasts. Oh. And uh, Daphne, um, who's the the main character, um, you don't you find out later in the book she also has a heart condition, mm. and um, she's always felt kind of uh, I don't know special or something, and she doesn't know if the two are related, but it's just the fact she. Um, doesn't feel like she can have that lifelong relationship, you mm -hmm. know, M mainly, um, well, not mainly, but partly because of her condition. And then the other is these notes just keep coming up. And, um, but she has fallen in love. And she said, the thing is, I love them all. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, whether it's the, the one night, ended, you know, it ended up being someone that she knew from high school. And, it was just like she had had a big crush on him and everything and then this all this stuff happens and um so it's very the men are very different mm -hmm. um and so um she has one though that really kind of sticks with her after their time is up and they they remain friends and he's he's kind of this a secondary character in the book um uh, but i just i just found it um a very nice easy read um you know we've had a lot of stuff going on in the last few weeks and uh some good <laughs> some not and it's just uh one of those things you could just kind of get lost in it and it helps you calm and be calm and relaxed and so i really like that about a good book and so rebecca did a great job and I happen to be a Rebecca as well, so mm -hmm. I like her name. So. <laughs> but anyway, but it's a great book. It's definitely five stars. Um, so if you've never read uh, Rebecca Rebecca before, please pick it up and do so. And get a glass of wine to go with it. Absolutely. Till next time, guys. Bye. Bye.